It's November, and this video is to help us cultivate gratitude and stay grounded. So it's going to be fairly brief so that you can incorporate it into your daily routine this month. And basically we're gonna do three things after we warm our spine. We're gonna do a hip opener. So uh, we carry a lot of our emotions in our hips, and so to keep our hips open, it's gonna be a way for us to be open to all of the blessings in our lives. So then we're gonna do a warrior pose, be nice and grounded and confident, and we're going to do a tree pose to help us just be firm um, in our intentions. So speaking of intentions, I'd like to suggest, of course you don't have to follow this, but I'd like to suggest that every time you do this practice, you pick a person in your life for whom you are grateful, and then as you go through the practice, um, stay focused on sending them positive energy and being specific about the uh, reasons that you are grateful in your mind. So uh, we're gonna get going here. I have um, the usual props, blocks, blanket, bolster, um, strap. So if there's any props you want to use, gather them now. You can always do these poses modified in the chair or using the wall for support. So here we go. We're gonna start laying on our backs. And as always, we will begin with our breath. Maybe rest your hands on your belly. And just start to focus on your inhales and your exhales. So in through the nose and out through the nose. Filling the belly, filling the rib cage on the inhale all the way up to the collarbones. And then softening, mostly in reverse, soften the collarbones, pull the belly in, rib cage in between. You might notice on the exhales that actually the belly draws in automatically. So name that person you'd like to show gratitude to today. Name in your mind a reason that you are grateful for them. And remember that you can use that kind of like a mantra whenever you get distracted or want to try to rush, slow down, come back to your breath and the intention that you set. So let's take a big, long, like morning stretch. Take your arms over your head, tuck your chin slightly, stretch your legs out on the mat, really reaching on your inhale as far as you can. And on your exhale, slowly and gently draw your knees into your chest. You could keep your head on the mat. It's okay with your spine. You could pull the low belly in and lift your nose up towards your knees. And right from here, we're gonna roll to one side and come up to seated. So we're gonna warm our spine seated today, so you could always grab a blanket or a block. I think I'll grab a blanket, raise my hips up so that my knees can drop down, and um, I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see what my spine is doing, right? So we're just going to move it in all six directions. So if this is all you had time for, this would still be a great practice. So sitting comfortably on an inhale, gently press into your thighs, wherever you are, lift your chest. Now your exhale, we're going to hollow out, so maybe take your elbows out, start from the pelvis, curl it under, pull your mid-back back, back and let the head drop if it's okay with your spine. Remember your own best teacher, that's you. So just keep moving, hollowing out on the exhales, lifting, dropping the shoulder blades down on the inhales. We do one more of these. Maybe moving around gently, your neck and your shoulders somewhere if it feels tight. And then come on back to neutral. Good. On your next inhale, you're going to take one arm to the opposite knee, rest the other hand behind you, and gently twist. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. So on the inhales, you get taller. On the exhales, you deepen the twist, keeping your hips grounded. So 
refining that edge where you can go a little deeper and then come on back. Inhale, get really, really tall again and exhale, go the other direction. Maybe even making that ocean breath sound, ujjayi breathing. Good. And then I'm going to come back around to face you. And we'll take a nice gentle side bend. So we've lifted and folded gently and twisted both directions. Now we're going to go side and side. So resting your fingertips on the chair or the mat. Inhale, get really, really tall. And then as you exhale, folding over sideways. Like your upper body is squished between two pieces of glass. So you could look down at your fingertips. You could look straight ahead. You could challenge yourself, draw your top shoulder back a little bit, gazing at your fingertips. And inhaling, come on back up. We'll go right to the other side. Use that low belly to support your spine. And inhaling, come on back up. We're just going to walk our fingertips forward with a flat spine, just kind of feel that low back stretch. Maybe walk it over to the side a little bit, feel another deep side stretch. Stretching out that QL, that all important quadratus lumborum muscle, the lower side of the back. Come on back to center. I'm going to move the blanket. And we're going to come right into a pigeon pose. So if it's difficult for you to be on your knees, you can do this laying on your back. You probably know how to do that already, a pigeon pose on your back. It's laying on your back, and then you make like the number four with your legs. But meanwhile, we're going to take one knee right outside the elbow and then scoot that shin forward so you can try and get it more parallel to the front edge of your mat. Right? So remember, no knee pain. Then you're going to take that back leg back. Right? So it's early in our practice. Might be feeling a little stiff. It's okay. So as you exhale, you're going to gently fold, keeping your body weight along the midline. Right? So right in line with those thumbs. And maybe you can rest your head on a block or take your elbows out. Rest your hand on, head on your fists. Just keep breathing. Try and soften somewhere. One more deep inhale. Again, using the edge, so if you're screaming to get out of the pose, you've gone too deep, back off a little bit. And then pull your low belly in. Use your hands to bring yourself back up. And then we'll go right to the other side. All right, so knee outside the elbow. Then you scoot that shin forward. Take the other leg back. Uh, just waking up those hips. Waking up the spine. Right? Exhaling. Softening. You might notice a difference from one side to the other. No judgment. Just notice. And perhaps bring yourself right back to that intention that you set. Make your spine nice and long, even here. One more deep exhale. Good, and come on back up. I'm going to go back to that first side and bring that leg forward. 
knee right over the ankle, right? So the knee and the foot are a little bit apart from each other, so we have a nice wide base. And then bring my hands to my thigh, right? So you want to keep yourself low and forward. And then maybe take the arms to the sky, right? So a little bit of a back bend here. And exhaling, gently release. So we're going to do one quick hamstring stretch using a block. If it's helpful, come on those back toes. Lift yourself up and back, extending your spine out and over that front leg. Keep pulling that hip of the front leg back, hip of the back leg forward to stay nice and square, and then push into the big toe mound of your front leg. Nice, and we're going to just walk ourselves around to the other side. So bring your block with you if it was helpful. Come onto those back toes and drop down. So you can always tuck a, block, a blanket under your knee too if it's tough to be on your knees, right? Get nice and stable and long. Drop the tailbone, lift the chest. Nice. Pull your low belly in, exhaling, hand back to the block, curl those back toes under, and take that nice, square, deep hamstring stretch, pushing into the big toe mound of the front foot. Keep the spine long. Beautiful. So we can go right into a warrior two here, right? So we have heel to arch alignment. If I drew a line, would be right from my front heel to my back arch. I'm going to use my hand on my thigh to bring me right up to a warrior two. So maybe you're doing a little bit of wiggling around, feeling your hips nice and open, and then take your arms out to the side. Really squeeze your arm muscles onto the bones and gaze over your front fingertips. So building strength, confidence, making lots of space for our gratitude practice. And then inhaling, turn those toes in. So we're going to heel toe our way in. All right, nice safe way to come back to standing. Okay, and come right to a tree pose with uh, the leg up of the front leg of our, our warrior two, right? So we're going to turn that foot out. So again, go to the wall if you need. Remember your drishti, your focal point, you can keep the foot on the calf or bring it above the knee somewhere. All right. Feel that nice and open. Maybe grow your tree. Nice. And exhaling, gently release. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Just notice how your body, body's feeling as it begins to wake up, get moving. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhaling, dive forward. Good. Inhaling, come halfway up. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me. Exhaling, fold. And right from here, we're going to come into warrior two. So one leg forward, the other leg back. Heel to arch alignment. Again, hand on the thigh. Come on around. It's occurred to me that, uh, oops, that um, I might have cut my head off in this whole video. I don't know if I did or not. You don't need to see my head anyway. <laughs> right, so going nice and deep into that hip joint. Straighten that front leg, turn the toes inward, and heel toe your way in again for a tree pose on the other side. All right. So getting nice and long and tall, lifting the foot, turning the knee out, putting the foot on the calf or on the upper thigh. Grow your tree. Grow in gratitude. It's 
The whole thing is like a moving prayer of gratitude, right? And exhaling, bring your hands to your heart center. So once again, we're going to inhale our arms to the sky. Exhaling, dive forward. I'm going to turn sideways again. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhaling, plant your hands and step your way back to the top of a push-up plank so that we can go to a downward dog. So if you're one long line from the heels out through the crown of the head, you are in the right place to just lift your hips Keep your hands and feet where they are. Just a couple more breaths. Feeling that full body stretch. Maybe move your head around. Exhaling, pull your belly in. Take your knees down, hovering there for a moment. Work on our core. Shine the soft part of your elbow forward. And exhaling, float the knees down and come into a nice, easy child's pose. Maybe rock from side to side a little bit. Perhaps it would feel good to turn your palms facing up and stretch those shoulders. Inhaling, plant your hands, come on back up. Rock your hips onto one side. And the most important part, just a few breaths of stillness, right? So it's all about moving so that we can settle into the stillness. I'm going to take my yoga bolster and have this be a little heart opener too. Maybe start with my hips pretty close, nice and warm. Maybe start with my feet flat, knees bent. See how that feels. And if that's okay on your low back, stretch your legs out. So palms facing up is a great way to receive all the good energy you've created. Send out all that good energy within. It's important to try and, and be still and not fidget. I had a teacher in my yoga teacher training say that if you wait eight seconds, any itch you have will go away on its own. So no more movement until you hear my voice again.
So maybe start to wiggle your fingers and make some circles with your wrists, slowly and gently, preparing to get going again. Maybe you want to point your toes and take that big, long morning stretch again, firming up the muscles. And then exhaling, bend your knees, bring your elbows towards your ribs. If you're on a prop, slowly and gently coming off the prop, right back up to seated where we began. Perhaps keeping your eyes closed for another moment, inhaling, bring your hands to your heart center. So committing this November to the practice of gratitude. Practicing gratitude until we are grateful. It's good for you, it's good for the universe. It's the spirit in me, honors the spirit in you. Remember it's a journey and you're always, we're always almost home. Namaste.